Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats, uh, and in this video, another video in our series of videos dealing with recurrence relations, uh, it's going to look at the solution, how to solve degree one recurrence relations, uh, and irrespective of whether they're homogeneous or whether they're non-homogeneous, okay? And let's just recall from a previous video, if I'm going to recall from a previous video that we've that we developed a closed form solution to degree one recurrence relations and what that actually looks like, okay? So in a previous video, what we, what, we, what we had was, let's say we have a recurrence of the form an is equal to b times a n minus one. So the nth term is defined to be equal to some constant times the previous term plus some other constant, let's say c. Uh, so this is the recurrence, okay? It's degree one. Okay, because we the n term is defined only in terms of the previous term, uh, it's either homogeneous or heterogeneous, okay, depending on the term c. If c is zero, it falls away. This just becomes a homogeneous recurrence. If c is not equal to zero, well then this is a heterogeneous recurrence of degree one. But what's important with the recurrence is that we have some base case, and let's say it's it's a zero. And what we've developed in the previous video is a general solution. So we have a general, a general solution to these types of recurrences under a certain condition. Uh, and the general solution is that a n, the nth term, is simply equal to the b constant raised to the power of n times the base case a0 plus the c constant multiplied by 1 minus the b constant raised to the power of n divided by 1 minus b. Just to keep in mind is that this solution only works, okay? This solution will only work uh, when b is not equal to 1, because when b is equal to 1, okay, we're going to then try to divide by, we're going to be dividing by uh, 0 here. So this doesn't work when b uh, is, equal to, is equal to 1. So let's just maybe just apply this particular, this particular solution. Let's, let's look at an example. Okay, so let's say we have an example, and the example that we have looks something like this. We have a n uh, is equal to, let's say for argument's sake, that A n is equal to two times A n minus one plus three. And let's say for argument's sake that A zero is equal to is equal to five. Okay? So using the general form solution, you can see that the B coefficient, the coefficient of the A n minus one is not equal to one. Okay. So this only works when when B is not equal to one. And in this case, the B is not equal to one, it's actually a two. But we have a b, b is 2, we have a c, so let's just write this down. So our b coefficient, uh, we have our b is 2, we have our c constant is 3, and we also have our a0, our a0 is equal to is equal to 5. So the general solution then is, okay, so the general, the general closed form solution, the general solution um, is simply a n is equal to b, which is 2, raised to the power of n, times a0, which is 5, plus c, which is 3, times 1 minus b, which is 2, raised to the power of n, divided by 1 minus b, which is 1 minus 2. And let's just do a little bit of uh, jigging around here. This becomes a n is equal to, now this is the same as 5 times 2 to the n, plus 3 times, what do we have here? We have 1 minus 2 to the n, all over minus one, okay? So bringing the minus one out, this becomes a n is equal to five times two to the n minus three times one minus two to the n. Distributing the three, this becomes a n is equal to five times two to the n minus three plus three times two to the n, okay? And uh, what does this give us here? Well, what do we end up with? We have five two to the n's here, and we have three of them there, so we end up with eight of them. So this becomes a n is equal to eight times two to the n minus three. Well, keep in mind is that eight is two to the power of three. So this is actually equal to two to the power of three times two to the n minus three. And what we end up with here, we end up with that this is equal to, so the a n term, a n is equal to, uh, when we have more, when we when when we multiply, uh, uh, let's say exponentials of the same of the same of the same base. Okay, in this case, two. We simply add the exponents, so this becomes two to the power of n plus three minus minus three, and that's the solution to that particular that particular equation.
up there. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Okay, this time, okay, just keep in mind is that that is that this is a non-homogeneous okay, because the constant here is not equal to zero. Let's have a look at another example. Uh, let's say for argument's sake that let's say for argument's sake that we want to find in relation to a homogeneous system. Okay, so consider let's say an example. So what we have is, let's say we have a of n is equal to four times a of n minus one, okay? This time the constant c is equal to zero. I mean, let's say a zero, a zero is equal to, let's say seven, okay? So just to write out everything that we need for the formula, we need the coefficient of the of the, the prior term to, to, the, to the end term. So we need a b, which is four. So we have our b is equal to four. We need our C, there's no C here, so C is effectively equal to zero. And we need our A0, okay? And our A0 is clearly defined, A0 is equal to seven, okay? So using our solution, 